How did he take it? He was really great about it, actually. I don't know why you're so surprised. What do you mean? I don't know why you're surprised that he was great about it. I mean, people that care about you, they just want you to be happy, right? Oh, yeah, of course, but I... I don't know, I just get, I expected him to be more... Disappointed. Right. Maybe you just wanted him to be a little bit more disappointed. Not that you would ever admit it, Pacey, but did you ever stop and think that you might actually like it here? I mean, this restaurant, the city, this pathetic yet undeniable thing you've got called the life here? Yeah. All of which really pales in comparison to the view from the deck of a yacht in the middle of the Caribbean. <laughs> all right, all right, you're gonna make me seasick. <laughs> and then, of course, I mean, there is that other reason, too. Oh, yeah, what's that? Duh. You totally want me. <laughs> Audrey, if you're attracted to me, you can just say so. We don't have to play all these childish games. Mm, Pacey, you're really nice and everything. It's just that, I don't know, you're kind of boring. Boring? I'm boring? You think I'm boring? Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to explain, really. It's just the whole walking on water thing. It doesn't really do it for me. I'm not boring. I am not boring. Did you ever stop to think that you might not actually be my type? I... No. No? No, guys don't have types. What do you mean, guys? Of course guys have types. Are we not human? Do we not have feelings? Pacey. Yes? I have boobs. You would sleep with me. No. I don't think that I could, actually. Erectile dysfunction? No, not erectile dysfunction. You're just too body for me. Ew, body? You make it sound like I'm Bette Midler or something. Well, hey, if the shoe fits. <laughs> you want to ride home? Yeah, actually, that would be nice. Okay. Uh-oh. I think someone's trying to get your attention. Really? Mm-hmm. How do you know? Well, she's either trying to get your attention or mine, which means she's either got really crappy oh. taste in men or she's a really smart lesbian. Really? Uh-huh. And who is she? She is just a friend. I see. So want to give me that ride? Not so much, no. Thought so. But I will. Nah, don't worry about it, Witter. I'm all about the cab these days. Listen, be careful. Use redundant forms of birth control and don't push her head down. Girls don't like that. You think? <laughs> Good night, Pacey. Unbelievable. Yeah, I know. If Danny found you in here, I'd be fired. How can they think that I've lost my edge? I am nothing but edge, Pacey. I am razor sharp, baby. And yet here you are eating garnish. So what's the problem? I don't know. My producer called me in and told me that my shows this week have been terrible. And that if I don't go back to doing things the way that I was doing them before, that they're going to cancel me. Before what? I don't know before what. Before... Me and Dawson. Ah, and the clouds part. But that makes absolutely no sense because I was miserable then and I'm happy now. That makes perfect sense to me. Nobody likes happy people. But if you if you had a relationship question, wouldn't you rather talk to somebody who was in a healthy, loving relationship? Hell no. I always prefer to get my advice from people who are far more dysfunctional than I am. That way I feel good about my life. Fine. Fine. Okay. If that's what the people want, if they want me to be nasty and sarcastic, I can do that. I just need something that's going to take me there. Casey, say something disgusting. Sure. Would you prefer sexist or just downright vulgar? Hold that thought. Hello. Hello, my little pumpkin. Oh, you are so fired. So, Dawson, let's say that, hypothetically speaking, I might have some insight into why your ingenue is so exasperated today and let's also say that hypothetically speaking i might be mildly culpable for her uh, exasperation which really is not important actually i'm sure it's nothing so uh forget i mentioned it Basically, my patience is wearing just a little bit thin okay well uh here's the thing i kissed her you idiot didn't anybody ever tell you the first rule of the universe 
Uh, yeah, that uh, energy is conserved. First rule of the universe is never get involved with an actress. Help. It's trying to think. I just wanted to offer a few ideas. Particularly on the way I'm a character. Script notes. Are you seriously gonna give me a reason to slap the silly out of you? It, it, come on, son, well, come on, because I'm feeling a little bit crazy today. Hey, 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 hey. She's got Moxie, Moxie now. That is not. <laughs> Who's this Moxie? I'm sorry. Quiet thoughts, good thoughts. I'm okay. Hey, guys. Okay. Joey. Not a moment too soon. Uh, take Pacey by force if necessary and extract Audrey from the bathroom. All right, Oliver. Uh, take Charlie. Find a cozy little corner and not big while it gives you notes. Carbonara is not a cream sauce? No, it's raw egg yolk, actually. So while it could kill you, who wants to live in a world where food isn't an adventure, right? <laughs> now, right. Um, Jeff, there's something I gotta tell you. I'm not, um... The thing is, I'm not totally, totally, uh... Available? You're not available, that's what you're trying to say. Yes, that's exactly what I'm trying to say. Oh, I sort of suspected. But you seem very... together. And we are. Well, it was nice meeting you both. You know, I don't usually do this, but what the hell? If you guys ever break up, Give me a call sometime. What just happened right there? I think that I should be insulted on several different levels about that. Pacey, you're not gay. Well, I know that, and you know that, but he doesn't know that. So far as he's concerned, you're my boyfriend. Hey, Pace. Yeah, Chuck? Look, I don't mean to be a backseat driver or anything, but we... I kind of need to put the pedal in the middle if you know what I mean. Did he really just say that to me? Yeah. Look, I understand that you want to be easy on the old girl, but come on, man, we're running a little late. Well, maybe you'd made better time on the old hog, huh, Chuck? Hey, now, okay, guys, no need to auto-bash here. Charlie, honey, I'm sure we'll be fine. The PC, sweetheart, a little speed never hurt anybody. You know, if you want me to drive, Granny, yeah, I can hop up front, all right? All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what are you doing? Anger management. This one's for me. Chuckles, get out of my car. What's the problem? Oh, there's no problem. We're leaving and you're hitchhiking. Come oh, on, man, you're being ridiculous. I'm being ridiculous? Here we go. You've been asking for this since the moment you showed up this morning. Uninvited. Now, believe me, I'm regretting it more and more every single second. But why don't you cut me some slack? Because you don't even know me. And you don't know me because if you did, you would have started walking five minutes ago. I can't believe this. You don't think I can take you. Hey, guys, guess what? You're both very masculine and ah. the girls are impressed. Can we just go now? Are you challenging me? <laughs> Should I bother? You want that? Then let's go. Let's go. That's good. Honey, could you hold on to that for a second? Come on, baby. Snuck us. Come on. Come with me go, now. I've got a little bit of unfinished business with this. Yes, guy. but your Neanderthal charms have me smitten. Please come with me. Think of the what? That's So I've been thinking. Pacey, before you say anything... Could you just... shut up for just a second, please? I'm trying to tell you what I'm thinking here, and it's interesting this time. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. So, I know that you've slept with other men. I knew that you had slept with other men before I started this whole pathetic inquiry. I knew that you had slept with other men before you and I started sleeping together. So, fine, you have slept with other men. I can accept that. Of course, I know deep down in my heart that you didn't enjoy it, but that's beside <laughs> the point. <clears throat> The point is... What's the point? The point is that I have my fears and my insecurities, but they're mine, not yours. It doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is this. Just this. Just this? Yes. I have totally and completely fallen for you. Mm, you move me, Audrey. All over the place. Mm. 
Hi. What? I've only slept with five people. Really? Yeah. I mean, it's okay, because you know, Joey has told me a couple of things, and I've actually seen you with several different... All right. I may have, at times, been somewhat of a make-out slut. I have kissed a lot of boys, and I figure that you have to. That way, you sort of know when you found the right one. I like that logic. You were testing me. You wanted to know how I'd react. Yeah. Maybe a little. I'm really, really sorry, Pacey. It's just, I guess, that I have my own fears, too, and I don't know. I think I just needed to hear it. Did I pass? <laughs> well, you aced. And you may even get a reward. Really? Well, so long as I retain the full range of motion from the neck up, you can do whatever you like. So this is spring break, huh? You know what's funny? It doesn't really look like the brochures. Hey, I provided the house. You people were supposed to bring on the fun. Huh? Can I order some pizzas? We could rent some movies. Play strip poker. No. no. Come on, it's not like I haven't seen y'all naked before. Okay, okay, we'll rent movies. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Face, please. Thank you. Why do I know that guy? Who is he? Oh, my God, is that Chris Hartford? Oh, my God. The movie star I ordered for my TV catalog finally got here. I was so worried. Don't say it. Audrey, I was hoping you'd be here. Chris, wow. Hey, how are you? Uh, uh, uh she's hugging a movie star. Um, I'm sorry, you guys, this is my friend Chris. Chris. These are all my friends from college. Hey. 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 How you doing, Chris? Jack, we're not famous. <laughs> How do you guys know each other? Well, we went to high school together. We went to the same high school. Huh. What are you doing here? Well, MTV sponsoring this concert. They had a hotel a couple blocks down. It's this new band, M2M. You guys know them? Yeah, Marie and Marianne from Norway. Marie's favorite food is chicken noodle soup, where Marianne prefers orange fanta as her drink of choice. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it gave me free tickets if you guys want to go. Actually, we were just making these plans. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, we could go to a big MTV concert, because that's cool, too. Great. Yes. I'll lead the way. Great. Is this true that you're dating Jennifer Love Hewitt? So... Don't even bother asking, because the answer is no. Really? Didn't make the top five? We were friends. What do I look like, the whore of Babylon? Don't answer that question. Go. I'm gonna wait for Joey. Okay. 